Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, I'm kind of hand-holding my A7 IV because I'm gonna show you what I just did. If you've been following me for a little while, you know I have this thing completely tricked out for video and for all kinds of electronics and everything because I, I'm on the road a lot. And even if I'm not, I just think it's fun. So I have all these like RAM mounts put in here to hold cameras and phones and what have you. And I also have cameras that are forward facing and rear facing that are recording anytime I'm in the vehicle. Well, the camera that I did have up there was pretty old. It was only 720p and it started to mess up and go into formatting mode all the time. Every time I came into the vehicle, it was just frozen in formatting. So I ordered a 4K camera system forward and, and rear facing and very quickly realized that I can only shoot in 4K if I'm shooting on the on this camera, the front one. And if I hook a rear one up, then it auto puts them into 1080, which is still better than 720, whatever. So I only have those in here for assholes. So when somebody cuts me off or does anything to my vehicle and, you know, road rages, I have proof that I'm not the bigger asshole. What I did was I had already run power so that it's connected to my fuse panel. And that basically just constantly has the power going to the camera when I turn the vehicle on. I didn't set it up so that it was always drawing from the car because I don't want to mess it up. This camera allows you to hook up a battery bank so that you can have it stay on when you're not around the vehicle. And then you can turn on, I don't, I don't even know what the mode is called, but basically if somebody comes in and bumps your car, hits your car, messes around with your car, tries to break into it, whatever, the cameras will be recording. So I ended up just doing that now because I have a 10,000 milliamp power bank and it works just fine. Now, part of the problem was that because I had cut the old cord and I never remember micro or mini, but it wasn't the same thing that was on there. So I cut it, spliced a new thing in there and then realized I probably should have kept that on there and have it run into the power bank, but whatever, I got an adapter and this is what I did. So now, as you can see, here's my camera up here hooked up and then I have this power or this is the this is the uh cable for the camera that comes in from the rear and that's already looped all the way back and i didn't have to rerun a new cable for that it, it worked just fine so here's the cable that comes in for the power but i have it all run up here underneath into this and then i hooked up this power bank and i just yanked all this shit out so that i could get a strap across here and hold that up there so this is the power bank and now the cable comes from here this is what's going down to the fuse panel and it comes in and plugs into the power bank to give the power bank power. And as you can see, maybe you can see them blinking because it's starting to uh, charge it. And then the, ca the cable comes in from back here, which then runs up through here and into the camera and gives it its power. So this isn't very clean. I might have to uh, like zip tie that or something because that's gonna bug the shit out of me that keeps coming down. But for the most part, it's, it's all set now. So even when I turn the vehicle off now, this will have power for as long as that 10,000 milliamp power bank goes, which is long enough for, for me to do what I wanted to do. That was my project for this morning while she's at work for an hour. She had to go in for an hour to cover for something. So I've already, past most of my time by doing that. Now I'm gonna zip tie that because it, again, it's gonna bug the shit out of me. But then we're gonna go around and do some shopping today. So that's what we're in store for. It is very nice out. It's 68 degrees and sunny. I'm actually sweating my ass off from sitting here doing this. And you know, the level of frustration brings the heat up, but we're gonna go have some fun today and see what's out there. Let's go. The other thing that I had done, which was yesterday, and I didn't record any of that because I was walking and I didn't want to carry all that gear with me. But yesterday I had the, the front of this and my doors all sound deadened. I'm slowly but surely going to have the entire interior of this vehicle sound deadened. Meaning they're pulling the seats, the carpeting, the headliner, all the panels. They're doing all the doors and all that kind of shit. But I'm doing it in stages. So yesterday was stage one where they did the two front doors and then here you know where the wheel wells that where the wheel wells are and so on and so forth and a little bit on the on the bottom here just to try to uh start absorbing all that sound i miss having my mercedes e350 that vehicle you couldn't hear anything when you got inside 
and you closed those doors and the doors just felt so solid and when they closed it was just like you could feel the pressure change because it was sealed so well and i missed that that was hands down the quietest vehicle i've ever had and again i miss it i get it i didn't buy a luxury vehicle so i know that that those are expensive for a reason there's there's more than just the fact oh it's a car it'll get me there the same as any other car yeah great but it's going to be noisy as fuck and rattly and all that kind of stuff and they make sure that that kind of stuff isn't as prevalent in a luxury vehicle that's what you're paying for so when i first test drove this thing i was incredibly disappointed in how chintzy the doors felt like they felt i was like are you kidding me i thought this thing was supposed to feel solid it didn't it's because there's no deadening material in there it, and it just it was just weak you could well, all right i could hear it i could feel it when i opened and closed the door so what i had done yesterday if i only had the doors done for the sake of how different they feel now it would have been worth every penny like I was immediately upon opening the door was so happy and closing it. It's just great. Now I haven't been on the highway yet and I didn't have time because I was dicking around with this, you know, this thing here. But um, for the most part, I am I'm incredibly happy with what they did. Unfortunately, timing is everything. And right now they're booked out at least two weeks immediately after yesterday. And also I am now going to be back on the road and I don't know what my schedule is going to be. So such is life. So I'll get it done over time. The next stage, we're going to do the rear doors and like the rear hatch and, and all that kind of stuff. Or I might just, uh, if I find the time, I might just have them keep it for a couple of days and just do the whole damn thing. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But for now, I'm going to go get my mail and then go back and pick her up so we can start our day. It's four o'clock and we're still out. She's had dragged me all over the place to all these thrifty stores. All of the last one was a consignment shop. So yeah, we've been, we've been shopping. Her goal was to go out and buy warm shit. Mine was to be a coat rack. So I'm there to, yeah, to hold the purse and all the clothes as she gets them. He's very good at it too. Yes, I am. But I spent the last two days sitting waiting for vehicles to be fixed thursday was hers i took it in for a state inspection and it ended up needing a tad bit more work than that so it sat in the dealership while they got that all done although i did end up getting an uber back home or not an uber but uh whatever yeah a shuttle they shuttled me home and then i ended up going back but yesterday i went to have this vehicle sound deadened and I sat there all day until like 3.30. He said five hours, which would have been around three-ish. And when I walked back to the shop and I had spent the day in a Starbucks, which was good because it made me sit there and do all the work that I needed to do. And I would have done it if I wasn't sitting in that Starbucks. Shame on me. But anywho, so I went in to check to see how they were. And he was like, sorry, dude, we're not even close. And I was like, oh, dude, I can't sit in that Starbucks anymore. So the owner actually gave me a ride home and told me he'd call me when he was done. And that wasn't until, shit, like 6.30. So we ended up, she had to drive me back there to pick it up. So that's what I did for two days. So I was like, there's no way that I'm sitting inside. Like I've, I've been sitting inside for two straight days. So although I probably wouldn't have gone thrifting today under my own devices, but at least I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't sitting inside. We also went to a bookstore. Yes. And we also fricking went to McDonald's again because I needed food and they had the other color of Halloween pale. So I'm going to have to force feed myself McDonald's at least one more time because there's one more color to go. The, the white ghost thing white ghosts. and and then you know like i think we've eaten more mcdonald's this week than we have like in our entire marriage so <laughs> i mean it's it's awful and i've been i've been moaning about how fat i'm getting again and i'm like that's it i'm done i'm not eating any more garbage and i was like ah fuck it let's go to mcdonald's maybe we'll have the other color <laughs> but they did yes yeah, so mission accomplished i i gained five pounds so that i could get a green pail anyways so that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, we're on our way home now. I think we've both had enough of other people and um, I'm sure she needs couch time. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to go home and edit this video and play around and internet and stuff. So I'm just going to stop it right now. I'm not even going to bother to go home and shoot anything. So that's all you get. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up. Ha, ha, ha.